Whether you're creating a MIDI masterpiece, recording a drum kit, or mixing a podcast, you're going to want an interface at some point. The thing is, finding out which ones work under Linux can be an adventure. The Linux audio wiki is limited. Device support database at Fado? Painfully out of date. I want to fix that. So, for now, I'm going to be focusing on Firewire interfaces, since they're no longer supported under Windows 10, and Apple hasn't shipped a product with a firehole since 2012. That means people are dumping them in places like eBay and Reverb. Case in point, Presodas, Fire Studio, 2626. Pick this up, $100. And before you protest, stating that your PC lacks the wires of fires, hear this. It's a $20 investment that could potentially save you hundreds of dollars on your next interface. So each week, we're going to put an interface through a few trials and one tribulation. An overview, setup, sound check, round trip latency, 15 minutes of torture, followed by what works, what doesn't, and is it worth the price? This week, we're looking at a little known interface from a company the internet loves to hate. Mmm, look at it. It's so red. It is quite red, and let's be honest. But we do have the four Midas combo jacks at the front, the preamps, with individual volume, high Z, low cut, and 48 volt phantom power. That's a nice feature. I don't care who makes it. Dual headphones, something I don't use, but I've tested out for direct monitoring. Zero latency with those. There's also a mono switch, which is nice. And you can adjust the mix balance and the analog out, just the main volume through that. You do have a digital select button. You want to hold that down to switch between USB and Firewire. Also your coax optical ADAD SMUX. The front panel LEDs are neat for analog in and analog out. They will also show you if you're clipping at a glance. On the back, the back is packed. Four direct line ends. That's brilliant. Eight insert jacks. Very nice. Left and right out, which leaves us with only six general purpose outputs, even though one says it has eight. It's really six. You have your spitif in and out, ADAT in and out, Firewire, USB 2, physical MIDI in and out, a lock, and a power adapter. When it comes to setup, one thing I really, really like about the FCA 1616 is there's nothing to it. Currently configured with Firewire, um, sample rate 48,000, buffer size 256, that's as loose as I can go before it genuinely becomes a problem with monitoring. And rule of thumb with Firewire, three periods or three buffer. So that is available. Also, if you would like to connect it via USB, I don't have that enabled, but you can do that through ULSA. Same settings, but I would change your buffer to two instead of three. This is the FCA 1616 with the Golden Age D2 large diaphragm dynamic microphone running into an RTPS2 preamp then into the FCA's line in. This is the FCA 1616 with a Golden Age D2 large diaphragm dynamic microphone running directly into a Midas preamp on the FCA 1616. This is the Audio Technica AT2020 condenser microphone running directly into a Midas preamp on the FCA 1616.
And there we have it. Everything I could think to test on the Behringer FCA 1616. I'm sure I missed something. Let's blame it on this being the first episode. So let me know in the comments. But if we get to put a bow on it, let's do the pros. Everything works, period. If you're looking for something out of the box, you just plug it in, you go with it. You don't have to worry about X runs. It doesn't matter if you're using it in USB. It doesn't matter if you're using Firewire. This will get the job done. It can also be powered by Firewire. That is a pro. Preamps, something I learned. 60 dB of gain, and most of that is usable, and you get four of them. That's brilliant. Eight insert jacks, light pipe, eight at, in and out, for additional connectivity. And speaking of that, it's USB and Firewire. That is neat. Now the cons, it's not perfect. Mainly, there's no power button. It's Behringer. They forget to put power buttons on things, man. And there've been reports of this unit dying after like a year, year and a half to two years of being powered on constantly. Seriously, people, unplug your devices. Keep that in mind. Only four line level inputs on this. The combo jacks on the front do not bypass the preamps. <laughs> That, that's kind of a, ah, uh, and speaking of those preamps, they're Midas preamps. They're not bad. They're just flat. That's a Midas preamp. And if we're being really picky, I, yeah, I'm going to say this. It will not connect if the digital select is set to SMUX. You can set it to optical, ADAT, or coax, and it connects fine on USB or Firewire. If you have it set to SMUX, no connection whatsoever. Picky. But the biggest con of the FCA 1616 is these units still fetch $200 plus on the used market when they show up. And they don't stay there for long. They didn't make these for very long. And the people who know about them, buy them. And if you can find one for under $200 and you're looking for an interface, just buy it. Um, that's it. Our first interface is something we've used to record hundreds of shows, and I've been very happy with it. It gets a green chair. Done. Solid piece of kit. But I do think that's it. So let me know what I missed in the comments. I'm sure I did. Uh, something, many things. And if you're watching this on YouTube, that means the latest episode is up for patrons. Speaking of which, look at all the gorgeous, gorgeous, yes, gorgeous creatures. Ooh, they're so spooky. And uh, finally, if you are curious about what new interfaces I will be looking at in the future, we have an Amazon list set up just for that. There's a link in the description. And for finally, 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 for reals, finally, yeah, let's go with that. If you have an old or unloved interface in your rack, in your closet, under your bed, send them to Vin's Interface Rescue, where they can be cataloged, tested, and added to the database. I might even be able to find them a forever home. That'd be brilliant. Links in the description. Till next week. Bye-bye.